Hi, my name is Bjergsen from Team Solo Mid, and this is my basic champion's guide to Aurelia. I actually think Aurelia mid is extremely strong in solo queue. I have a really high win rate on her, I think mainly because people never really face Aurelia mid. And if they're ever like 80-70% health and you're lower, you jump in a creep, you get the stun, that's pretty much going to be a guaranteed kill every single time. And if Aurelia gets snowballing in any lane, uh, you've seen Aurelia top lane as soon as she slow balls, she's going to be ridiculous, and it is the same thing mid. If Aurelia gets a lead, she can push that and she becomes kind of like an assassin tank bruiser that's just unkillable. And I think that's why she's really strong in solo queue. For laning and Aurelia, you actually have extremely strong trades. Just the only real downside is that you're pretty easy to gank once you commit. So keep a watch out for the enemy jungler, get wards out, and then you can start playing super aggressive. Sometimes you're going to have to take a few risks uh, going for trades while the jungler could potentially be there. But Aurelia is extremely strong. And one thing I really recommend is just getting trades and then backing off. Getting the reset on a creep, Eing, maybe autoing him a couple times and then queuing away. You want to be looking for these quick trades where you're coming out and then eventually looking for an all-in. A lot of people think that I really can just straight jump onto a carry and insta-kill the carry every single team pipe. You have to play reserved until either one of your teammates goes in their carries, their carries got a position, or just looking for someone you can kill. Either one of their carries or their support, but I really generally just stands on the front line, hitting the front line using her true damage and then turning on the back line as soon as there's an opportunity. Or, of course, if you get a flank, you can go straight down to the carry. Irelia plays really situational in team fights, and you're just going to have to judge how the team fight is going to play out and what's the best for you by playing her. The best tip for Irelia for sure is walking up, uh, getting the ranged minion low that they're going to be standing nearby by autoing it a couple times. Maybe they'll even damage you a little bit so you become lower HP than them. And then you can use that minion as a reset to get a free trade. So you can queue onto the minion, stun them, get some autos, and then queue again on him. Or even queue back if you want to avoid further trading. It's how you're going to be consistently winning trades and looking for all-ins in lane as Aurelia. For runes on Aurelia, I like flat AD reds, HP scaling yellows, CDR scaling blues, and attack speed quints. AD reds help with early last hitting. Attack speed quints obviously really gets synergized uh, with Aurelia's W. HP scaling yellow is obviously good for tanking and CDR scaling blues are really good for later in the game because you want to be using more stuns and especially using your Q when you don't get the reset off of it. Also, not having any resistances in your runes can sometimes be a good thing because you want to be slightly lower HP than your opponent so you can always get the stun in lane. For the masteries, I like to run 21-9-0. You do want to get really offensive masteries on Irelia because you're kind of playing her as an assassin early game when you get the Triforce. So just get as much damage as you can. I like going spell weaving, blade weaving, and frenzy just to really get the procs going. And if you get a crit, you get a lot of attack speed and you can really surprise someone as you go all in. For Irelia Skalora, I go Q at level one because against most champions in lane, you can just Q at them at level one and start auto attacking them. And since you have flask, if you trade evenly, you're coming out way ahead. And Irelia has extremely strong trades if you Q on someone at level one. At level two, you can go either W or E depending on the lane. W if you just want some extra sustain or if you have a melee matchup where you'll get more auto attacks and E if you're looking for more like an early gank or uh, an early kill. Um, you want to be maxing E in the Q in the W. The reason why you do Q second is because with the max CDR it gets down to like a 3 or 4 seconds cooldown which makes it a lot more mobile in team fights and it sets up a lot more burst potential. For summoners on Aurelia mid, you always want to be going ignite because you want to be looking for assassinations in lane or even sweat pushing. It really adds to her burst and it's really strong and even though some people consider things like TP because she can get pushed out of lane early and for split pushing, it doesn't really work the same way and Ignite is just usually the better choice in my opinion. For Aurelia, I always start Flask going into Trinity Force right away, usually with the Sheen and then Phage first into the Trinity Force. After Trinity Force, you most likely want to be going Frozen Heart to get as much cooldown reduction as possible. After Frozen Heart, you can go either Blade of the Rune King for damage, you can go an MR item like Banshees or Spirit Visage, or you can even go Randoins if you need even more armor. Between boots, you can go Ninja Tabais or Merc Treads depending on the game. Really, Irelia's build is just very situational and it, can, it really depends on the game. You can go a variety of tank and damage items. Thank you for watching my basic champion's guide to Irelia. If you want to check out more content, go to lawclass.com minions or you can go in on one of your teammates getting a knockup but I feel like Yasuo should be played more as a constant damage dealer and then a huge 